drench resistance is occurring because for too many years we've had too many effective, useful, cheap um, anthelmintics or drenches and it's become it's become entrenched in farmer psyche that parasite control is about drenching. And so for most farmers now and for many vets, they think about parasite control in terms of a drench gun. And so we've had an over-reliance on the use of chemicals. And the end result of that is we've, we've uh, exposed our worms to too much chemical and they've adapted very nicely, thank you. <laughs>
a really nice positive for farmers that we it looks like we can actually make it go away but I would uh, qualify that by saying we cannot make it go away without significant change to the farming operation and one of the things I run across a lot is you go onto a farm that's got significant drench resistance and ask the farmer how he's going to change his operation and he says why do I need to change and the answer is because you're going to have to you have to change and that's that's the the hard uh, pill for a lot of farmers to swallow is once you get to that position you're going to have to change your farming operation. That can involve changing a whole range of things. Um, the, the most obvious one is farmers still want to continue to finish lambs even though they've got almost no effective drenches left and they struggle to understand why they can't just keep drenching and it'll keep working because it doesn't. Um, so production is going to fall away. Uh, often it involves um, either finishing fewer lambs, um, changing cattle steep uh, ratios, so more cattle, um, definitely taking out all the uh, or most of the ewe drenching to try and create a source of refugia, um, more cropping, um, a, a whole raft of things, no single thing but lots of different things to shift the focus away from drenching as your only means of parasite control. Uh, to the best of our knowledge, no, and I suspect we're unlikely to see any. Um, the pharmaceutical industry globally has changed quite a bit in the last few years. Uh, so I know that in the past we said that we weren't going to get any more and we got two, and that was very lucky. Um, the pharmaceutical industry has changed a lot in the sense that uh, fewer companies have, though there are fewer companies and they're bigger, and a lot of them have shifted their focus into human health and pets, like small cats and dogs. So the straight sort of drench development companies um, are fewer and smaller, and so their desire to invest large sums of money, I believe, uh, has declined. So I think we'll be very surprised if we see any new drenches in the future.